Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video, which is part 9 of my 3D Studio Max series for beginners. We are well into our modeling. I don't know if you've noticed, but we are, we are actually modeling things now. Ever since uh, I showed you guys really the splines, uh, we've been modeling because you guys started extruding, right? That was what, part 6 or so? I don't even know. But uh, you guys, you can really just take off from here. After this video, I mean, there's just so much that you can do. You have no idea. After this video, you will know how to do, you know, it's just up to your imagination now of what you can make. Trust me. Let's let's grab a box here, and we're going to start making stuff. Center center these up. doesn't really matter how big this is. Um, let me make this big Z to, you know, kind of center myself. And I'm just going to make the segments 5, 5, 5. F4 so I can see what's uh what's going on here and J so I can take that off and great so we're looking good um we I, I like the way this looks everything's fine I don't really need to go back to my settings so I'm just gonna right click and convert this to an editable mesh all right so we are able to you know select our vertices points and and move these and it kind of looks ugly right let's start modeling these a little bit better in a better way let's go to polygon and let's start doing something called extruding let's go and select uh, let's just select one of these we can do is go over here to our um, our panel our side panel here our uh, what would you call this uh edit geometry section and we can go to extrude boom look at that now you are taking this piece out of out of the shape and look at that and now if we move this Look at this. You are now moving. It's like a it's like a little flipper out of a whale or something. It's, I don't know. I'm making my stupid noises now, but you know, you can start doing this kind of stuff. And this is where it gets really interesting. Let's extrude this some more. We can actually click extrude. And we can actually go over our polygon here and just click and drag out. Look at that. We are now extruding, guys. Um, I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. Uh, cuz we can start making some pretty crazy things here. Jerry, that's not very exciting. Um, I don't know why you're getting all pumped up. Trust me, this is a big deal. Extruding is a big thing here. Uh, let's go and select this one and extrude that out. And we can extrude this one out. And let's say we want to extrude two at the same time. What I can actually do is right click now and go to extrude polygons. And look at that, now we've extruded those. And I mean, we can extrude them from here. There's just so many different ways that we can extrude shapes and it's just so cool. And I don't know, I'm just making some crazy stuff here. Um, it's just really up to your imagination as to what you can make now. I don't know. What do you think that is? I don't know what that is. Okay, we can even extrude uh, negative numbers. So now it's inside. But then that kind of gets corrupted. But, you know. Um, or we can actually start combining things. See how it looks all corrupted? Let me go to this side. Select this. And I'm going to right click extrude. So, so far I've showed you like a bunch of different ways how to extrude. Now it does the same thing here. We can select it right here, extrude by using these, by using this bar here. We can click extrude and then come over here. Or what we can do is, you know, highlight it, right click and go to extrude. So three different ways to extrude things. Okay. Look at me. I'm just, just having a ball now. Just having fun. And I don't know if you saw what I was doing, but after I extrude, I can actually start transforming what I'm extruding so watch if I go right here and I extrude in extrude in it looks all corrupted but if I scale inwards look at that we're starting to get different things now now what if I what if I go ahead and extrude that out now look at that we've extruded we've scaled it in and I've extruded it back out now I can extrude it a little bit bigger get some crazy stuff going on here this is just craziness Extruding is super fun. It's you can have loads. You can just spend hours and hours probably extruding. Let's go to extrude there. Okay. And you can rotate things. Remember, don't overlap things because it gets all ugly. Okay, so maybe about right there. You can rotate it this way. Uh we can rotate it however, you know. We can start moving things while we're rotating, while we're scaling. You can really just start making stuff uh, using using this, okay? All right, so that's great, Jerry. You know, great. 
show me something else. Well, another thing that I want to show you, and we're kind of going to finish the video off with uh, this next thing, is something called... Actually, no. I, I'm not going to end this video because I want to make this one long. It's fun, right? It's fun, fun. Let's reset this. No, I don't want to save and click yes. Let me go to make a box really quick. don't want to spend too much time doing this. F4 so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I activated my viewport and then pressed F4. Okay, J. Great. Uh, that was Alt W. Hopefully you have that down by now. Hopefully you've been practicing. All right, so I have this. Now, let's go and right click, convert this to an editable mesh. And let's go back to Polygon. And I'm going to click that. And now, instead of extruding, I'm going to do something called beveling. Works the same way. There's like three different ways to do this. So bevel. Uh, actually, the best way to do it is you bevel in. Okay, click bevel, bevel. Now you can go in, you can go out, whatever you want. I like going out really quick, just so I can show you what's going on. Out, let go, and then you can move this up and down. Now if I go in, and then in, 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 out, and then if I move this in, so you can just start making some crazy things there. And that's pretty much right there what you're doing. Beveling is kind of like, it's like extruding with a combination of scaling. That's pretty much what it is. It's just a really quick way to make some really cool things. So you can just have a load of fun doing this kind of stuff. And then what I can do is, you know, scale this in. Get that a nice little square. Okay. So Seriously, just start messing around and do things, okay? Uh, beveling doesn't really work the best if you just do this. Because uh, then, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. Uh, yeah. So anyways, we can start moving things down like that. Uh, you know, start controlling the polygons, do whatevers, whatever like that. And see how it kind of looks like a hard edge? If you added more of these polygons, it would be a little bit more smooth. So, I mean, there you go. All right, so there's that. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing, and this is actually called chamfer. To chamfer, what you actually need to do is select either an edge or a vertex. Let's go to vertex, vertice point, and let's select this one or whatever one you want to select. Right click, and I can chamfer this vertex. And if I chamfer it, look at that. Look, look what that does. I'm, I'm clicking, holding, and dragging. Look at that, right there. That's pretty cool. It's another way of modeling, chamfering some stuff. Now remember, don't go over, I mean, because it will get all crazy on you. Actually, no, it, it stops, so I mean, you can go wild in that, but kind of chisels it away like you're, uh, like you're working on stone or something. Um, another thing to do is click Edge, and then champ for that edge. See how that works? Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Now, this is the fun stuff right here. This is the stuff that people just love about 3D works because you can, your imagination really just drives everything about 3D modeling. I'm going to make uh, a lame little airplane here just with, uh, you know, really simple things. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm probably going to chop this up so bad. Uh, let's see if I remember how to, how to do this. Okay, I want that. And, okay, sure, why not? Let's get our, our shape basically like this with a 333 segments going on. Uh, I can make in can, ah, length. There we go. And then the height, bring it down a little bit. Okay. This is going to be our fuselage for the airplane. Um, yeah, I'm going to make an airplane out of this. It's going to look really uh, basic, but hey, at least you're going to make something. Let's right click this and convert this to an editable mesh. And I'm going to try to do this super quick. I don't know. I'm probably going to fail. So I'm going to select this one and this one at the same time. To select two at the same time, I select one, hold control, and select. And to deselect one, let's say you, oops, oh no, no, I don't want all those. Hold alt, click, and you can deselect them. Okay, so click, click, um, that's a control click. Now I'm going to extrude these. Boom. J, because I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, 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 what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? J, there we go. Okay, back to Polygon. Okay, now what I can do is scale this down some. Okay, and I can bring this down, and I can actually bring this down, and I can actually bring it up some more. 
Oh, no, don't bring it out like that, because then if I move that like that, see the other side? Anyway, there's our, our so-called wing. Okay, and what uh, we can do back here is, I don't know, let's say you want to grab this here. And let's uh, extrude this up like that. Or actually, we could have beveled that, so let's, let's bevel this. Okay, and I'm going to bring this back. All right, and uh, yeah, just get creative, I guess. Uh, let's go to the vertex points, V L Z. Um, actually, ooh, I made this in the wrong viewport. I'm just gonna click my little thing here. All right, I can move this up, put this down. You know, just get creative with it. Um, I don't know. Let's grab my polygons here. I'm gonna hit G to get rid of my grid. It's getting in the way. I can grab all these. I can uh, bevel these. Okay, kind of looks funky, but uh, something like that. I don't know. It looks kind of dumb, but you know, there's our airplane. If I mean, this is a 12-minute video. I don't want to make it any longer, but you can totally go into detail and start adding more to this. You can uh, you know bevel these in and make like stuff and well and whatnot and you can totally design this the way you want what I like to do is I don't know start grabbing these and start scaling those in to give it more shape really your airplane can turn out like totally badass it just depends on how uh, how much time you put into it so so really guys uh, there you go I don't want to take any more of your time like seriously once like I'm telling you after this video you can just start modeling things um, boom there's an airplane that we use with our extrude uh, and bevel in our sub object mode and I mean that's that's, that's the fun part right it's really fun in our next video I'm gonna show you another modeling method it's gonna be a lot of fun too and uh, it'll open up a whole nother range of things that you can do while modeling 3d shapes so thank you for watching this video please thumbs up comment and subscribe um, what is this? I don't even know what part this is. I think this is 9. Uh, watch part 10. Click part 10. Uh, please, again, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you for watching. Click the next part.